Is it possible to build pure muscle, gain no fat and completely transform your body in just 90 days? I'm going to show you the exact blueprint that I've used with over a thousand clients that is guaranteed to help you with a great transformation. No gimmicks, no lies, just 10 years of transformation results backed by science. Let's get straight into it. The main focus for any transformation program is weight training. And it's always the same questions with this. What plan should I use? Am I doing the correct exercises? Am I doing enough sets? How many reps am I doing? Should I train to failure? How much rest should I have? And they're all valid questions, right? You see, training is individual. And I know that you hate me saying that, but it is. But regardless of that, no one size fits all, but there are methods that do absolutely work for everyone. And one of the methods is training with sheer intensity. You could have the worst training plan in the world, but if you train hard enough with that plan, I guarantee you're going to grow more muscle than the guy who has the perfect training plan but is half assing it. So keep that in mind. You have to train hard no matter what. So that leads us to what some would consider training hard and that is training to failure. Do you need to train to failure? No. The science actually shows that you don't need to. But I hate to be this person and I really can't help myself. But look at the physiques of the people who do train to failure and then look at the physiques of the people who do not train to failure. It might be rhetorical but I know which one looks the best and I've been in gyms long enough I've coached enough people to understand that it does make a difference and sometimes the science can't show us just what's right in front of our eyes so yes to achieve a great transformation I do believe that you need to take every working set to failure but as a caveat to this what you need to do is not let your form break down and then push past failure. There has to be standardization within your technique on every exercise. So once your form starts to wobble, it's probably time to stop that set. Now, this leads me into something that is arguably the most important part of training, and that is progressive overload. Without progressive overload, you're never going to change. But what I don't want you to do is use progressive overload and completely mess up your form, like I said a little earlier. Too many people sacrifice their form to get an extra rep or fat five kilograms on the bar, don't do this. If you can't complete that extra rep or extra weight with the same form, is it really a personal best? Or did you just use other muscle groups to help? The goal is to lift max weight with the desired muscle, not max weight with all the muscles. So if you sat here right now and you start to realize and think, God, I've been in the gym for how long and I've not really gotten stronger recently, I've not really pushed for an extra rep or a little bit more weight, and maybe you've become a bit complacent, it's time to change that. Muscle is built best when it is tested. And if you can challenge the muscle every single session, you are increasing the chance for muscle growth. And that is the goal. No session should be wasted. Every working set should be an opportunity to see more growth. Now, for all exercises, I use what's called the free strike rule. And the free strike rule is if you have an exercise, let's say the bench press, and you go three weeks in a row or three sessions in a row and it doesn't progress and strike that exercise is out we change it for a different one but alongside this another rule you must follow is that if an exercise is progressing then you do not change it too many people change an exercise because they get a little bit bored they get excited and want to do something new when they're leaving progress on the table. If an exercise is progressing, take advantage, keep going with it. I guarantee the people who keep going with the same exercise and progress more and more and more every week are just onto a winner. They're the ones really changing their physique. So before we go any further, let's build out the perfect training week. Any good training program should have you training every single muscle group twice per week. So if you're not already doing that and you're training everything once per week, that's got to change. Follow this structure now. On Monday, you're going to train your upper body. On Tuesday, you're going to train your legs. On Wednesday, you're going to take a full rest day. On Thursday, you're going to train push, so chest, shoulders, triceps. On Friday, you're going to train pull, so back, biceps. On Saturday, you're going to train legs. And then on Sunday, we take a full rest. This makes sure that there is enough training frequency as well as enough rest per week. Two days of rest should be plenty. You'll be okay. And rather than build out all the exercises, sets, reps, etc., I thought I'd do you one better and offer you the perfectly built training plan. So I've put a link in the description below where you can get this training plan for absolutely nothing. It's free. It has all the exercises in order, sets, reps, technique, intensity, 
how to perform all the exercises, everything you want. And it's everything that I give to my one-to-one -one clients too. For no funny business, just put your first name and your email into the questionnaire and you'll get access to the training plan. So give it a go, take advantage, please. So now that we have the perfect training plan, we know that we need to train to failure. We know that we need to utilize progressive overload every session. How do we now support all of this? Well, the answer is simple and that comes with your nutrition. I'd say the main reason people do not build muscle is because of the lack of nutrition or the amount of nutrition that they're actually taking in. It needs to back it up. It needs to support it. Too many people under eat calories. Trust me, when it comes to building muscle, they under eat. And if they over eat, it's just with terrible food choices. And whether we're building muscle or dieting, the forefront and the foundations of your diet should come from high quality, nutrient dense foods that are going to digest well. Have you ever been bloated and lost your appetite? Yeah, of course you have, we all have. Well, this is why we need foods that agree with us and our digestive system so that we can comfortably eat more. There's a saying and that is, you can only grow as much as your appetite allows. Remember this. So now we need to find the amount of calories that we need per day in order to support muscle growth. And to make this quick and easy, I've attached a link below to a calorie calculator that I'm not affiliated with. It's just a website with a formula that works well. I've tried it and it's pretty good. And we could go into the maths of working out your calories and your starting point, but it's not worth it and it will take too much time. So with the calorie calculator, once you input your information, you'll find the amount of calories your body needs personally to maintain your body weight. Whatever this number is, we're going to increase it by 500. And this is our muscle gain starting point. It isn't so much that you'll gain weight too quick and get fat, but it also isn't so little that we won't see muscle growth. It's got a nice balance. It's the perfect starting point from my experience. So hypothetically, let's say your maintenance calories comes to 2,500. That means our muscle gain starting point is going to be 3,000 calories per day. Around 25% to 30% of these calories need to come from protein, making it, to be exact, 187.5 grams to 225 grams of protein every single day. After this, you want to fill in the remaining 70% with carbs and fats of course. Don't worry too much about the specifics of carbs and fats, just fill in the rest of your calories. I promise you, it's just so much easier this way. So don't overthink it. The best thing you can do when it comes to building your diet is keep it simple. Overcomplicating things never work. Now, if I was to eat 3,000 calories per day, here's how my nutrition would look. Meal one, I would have eggs, maybe three eggs, two slices of toast and some mushrooms to get some veggies. Meal two, I like things quick, so I'd make a shake. I'd do 40 grams of whey protein, 300 milliliters of milk, banana, 25 grams of honey and 25 grams of peanut butter. For meal three, I'd keep it simple again. I'd do 200 grams of chicken and 125 grams of rice. I might chuck some veggies in there as well. Meal four, I would repeat meal two and have the whey shake. And meal five, I'd opt for some red meat. So I'd have some extra lean mints. I'd have some potatoes and some veggies as well. So that's five meals, two of them consisting of shakes that are very easy to prep. And the other three also very easy to prep. Don't try and be a Michelin star chef in the kitchen. Everybody's busy, you're busy, your schedule's busy. Don't think that your prep has to be extravagant. Please, for the love of God, Make it work for you. Cut down your timings. Give yourself an easier process when it comes to this. The amount of times I've had people come to me, especially clients saying, Connor, can you come up with some recipes, etc., for me? I'm like, no, not, I'm not a chef. Keep it simple. You've only got so much time. So I just built this meal plan out of thin air, but it's similar to how I eat now, if I'm being honest. And it comes to 223 grams of protein. So that's perfect. We're in that 25 to 30% calorie range. 372 grams of carbs and 69 grams of fat. Perfect. The ratio in my my opinion is absolutely spot on. So feel free to copy this or use it as inspiration to build your own. So now on to a very important topic and that is adjustment. Progress does not continue forever. We plateau, body weight stalls. So what do we do then? Remember the role of the metabolism is to maintain body weight. So when you test it by eating more food, it speeds up. It wants to maintain weight. It doesn't want to gain weight. So once your metabolism does adapt and catches up, we need to eat more food. That is how we're going to keep progression going. What's the point in not seeing your body weight increase, seeing it stall and doing nothing about it. Your physique will stall too. So when making these adjustments, you need to do them at the right time, but you also don't need to do them too quick, too often. If you're gaining anywhere between 0.5 pounds to one pound of body weight per week, then this is perfect. Keep things the same. However, if you're under this number, I would definitely be adding more food. So what I would suggest you do is every time that you do stall and you're under 0.5 gain for the week, I would add 150 calories 
purely from carbs and fats. Keep your protein the same. I guarantee if you do this, you will continue to grow. And it's a small enough calorie bump to not get fat. Your body just handles it, it wants it. I promise you it'll adapt. I've done it with enough people and kept enough people lean during a muscle gain phase to know that this works. But on the flip side of this, if your rate of gain is actually too high and let's say it pushes towards two pounds per week, it might actually be a good idea to reduce your calories by 150. You don't wanna be getting fat during this process. So be cautious and be smart with your adjustments. So guys, if you've got this far and you were expecting some secret crazy method that only I in the entire industry know, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. But be glad there isn't a secret. Be glad that it's just how the body works. And we can't change that. We can't get around how the body works. It is what it is. And mini adjustments every week equal success. Follow my formula that I have shown you and I promise you, your physique will change for the better. So now on to the last part of this video and that is supplementation. I've put this section at the end for a reason and that's because I didn't want people getting distracted by the supplement section, thinking that is what's gonna get them there. But the reality is, as long as your nutrition and your training is good, use supplements to give you that extra 5%. But if you're using supplements when your nutrition's bad or your training's bad, you're just wasting your money. So if you're looking to build muscle, here's the supplements I recommend and the supplements I recommend to my clients too. First off, we have creatine, the most researched supplement in existence. It's great for muscle and strength gain and maybe use one gram of creatine per 10 kilograms of body weight. Next is whey protein, which is a cheap and high quality protein source. I'm not going to go into why you need this or when, just use it when you personally need it, right? Pre-workout, controversial one, but for me, it's an absolute staple in my supplementation. I feel pre-workouts give you the ability to train harder for longer and when you're busy and tired sometimes you need that extra kick and then we have sleep supplements i use a product called dream sleep and it really helps to improve sleep quality and i find when i use a sleep supplement that is dosed up with magnesium i always sleep better and i'm more recovered which of course is very important for building muscle and some honorable mentions we have multivitamin vitamin d vitamin c all these are really helpful especially if you're like me and live in England and get absolutely no sun. So you have it guys, the perfect training plan, the exact method to find your muscle gain starting point, how to make adjustments that you never plateau, and the supplements that you need to give you that extra 5%. This is everything you need to transform your body. It wasn't sexy, but it's the truth and it works. That's what this channel is all about. Real information that helps real people. No lies, no gimmicks, just good advice. So guys, if you liked the video, it'd mean a lot if you could leave a like on the video and if you want to see more videos like this maybe consider subscribing to the channel it's actually growing really well right now i think we're up 300 subscribers in the last month or two and if you have any questions about anything in the video